What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I know it's been a while since I've kind of made a regular commentary video, but there is some big news that kind of happened today. And by big, I mean literally the only news that's happened this week that has some significant impact. Because to be honest, the news has been really dry this week, at least for drama content. Leafy got suspended from Twitter, at least I think it was sus just suspended and not like a permaban, but holy crap, he is just getting banned from everywhere. First it was YouTube, now it's Twitter, who knows what's gonna be installed for him next. Now that I'm 30 seconds in, I would like to wish all of you guys a happy National Horny Day. Um, apparently this is something on Twitter, I had no idea this existed, but... <laughs> What the fuck, dude? I guess I'm gonna have to log off of Twitter for a while because I'm sure there's gonna be some fanatical um, NSFW artwork that's gonna be popping up here and there on the timeline now. So we'll have to wait that one out. Back to the main topic, Leafy got, I'm gonna just say banned from Twitter. I don't know why. So he got banned from YouTube for allegedly making too many videos on Pokimane, even though, you know, people like our favorite boy, Defamation Noodles, made like 20 videos with either James James Charles or David Dobrik being mentioned or appearing in the thumbnail or something like that. So obviously that's not really, at least I believe, not the reason Leafy got banned from YouTube, but that happened a long time ago at this point. Like, honestly, I don't know why he got banned from Twitter. Maybe he was like bullying someone, but it's like, dude, bullying happens on Twitter all the time. I don't understand why that would be such a big deal. I mean, I've seen a ton of terrible stuff being said on Twitter, and, you know, nobody gets really banned for it unless they're shouting, like, racial slurs at people, but, like, holy crap. I don't know, like, what it is with the internet trying to, or at least these platforms trying to band together to just completely destroy Leafy. I mean, at this point, it's like, what the fuck, dude? This is crazy. Oh my god. Th there's been suspects around, like, who is behind this ban. One of those most prominently being Futuristic Hub. He's kind of actually notorious for getting people's videos taken down and stuff. He's kind of a freak, not gonna lie. He's really weird. He used to run like a animation YouTube channel or whatever. Uh, not gonna really go into that. Um, Turkey Tom has a two-part series on Futuristic Hub and kind of like the lore behind his channel and everything and his presence on the internet. So I'm gonna leave those in the description. That being said, reason to believe that Futuristic Hub is maybe behind Leafy's suspension. I don't exactly know why. Um, personally, I wouldn't understand, I guess. Like, I, I don't follow Leafy on Twitter or anything. Now I can't, but I don't think I've heard of any, like, beef that the two of them have gotten into recently, so who knows? Another suspect is Ethan Klein, you know? I would be inclined to believe it, but I feel like Ethan's just so hellbent on going after James Charles, like I've mentioned in some of my live streams and everything. I think he's more obsessed with that, but it would make sense considering Ethan and Leafy did kind of go at it for a while at one point. Way back yonder, before I even started paying attention to internet drama or anything. I think, frankly, a lot of these platforms are just going after random creators who were big at one point. And you know, Leafy always kind of- he built his platform off of bullying people, which isn't a problem, and I think these days it's so taboo to go after people and make fun of them that any platform that sees you doing that, or at least having a history of doing that, they're gonna go after you and try and take you down, and I just don't understand that, dude. Like, what happened to freedom of speech? I feel like now the internet, and I mean, it's making sense just because the internet has been around for a long time now, it went from being the Wild West to kind of more like this place where organizations are kind of cracking down on, like, implementing certain rules and what people can and cannot do. And you know, it's like, it is what it is, like, it's kind of like the internet's evolving in that sense, but it just, it's kind of like not fair just because people should still have the right to say and do what they want. Obviously not if you're going to incite violence upon another person or like organize an entire terrorist organization or event or something like that, then I'd understand why. But if you're just like shitposting or trolling, I think it should be a little more laid back and people not get so uptight because that's another thing and i talked about this in my podcast the rap which you guys should go check out season two will be coming in the summer but people are getting so sensitive and i know it's not everybody but it's kind of like i guess the popular opinion and when i say the popular opinion i mean the kind of mindset that's 
perpetuated by a lot of like bigger figures on the internet and then like people who follow them and stuff like that that it's just like this kind of popular opinion that you need to be really sensitive to everybody's issues and aware of everybody's problems and like what hurts people's feelings and you know there's not a problem with that when it comes to like one-on-one -on -one interaction I guess but it's like why can't we just troll and like let the internet be a place for us to do that and the other thing that I like is that the internet is kind of there's like sub communities so it's like if you don't want to be trolled or like bullied or whatnot, just go to a different community that doesn't have that. You know, like it's not the entire internet is just going to bully everybody. There's just certain communities that have it more than others. And I think instead of being all sensitive and cracking down on different people for doing that and like, I don't know, suspending them or pulling people sponsors, which is again something Ethan Klein is currently doing for very shitty reasons. It just go somewhere else and stop focusing because these people who get so hellbent, and I do remember seeing a couple things on Twitter where there were some people going after Leafy for the whole bullying thing and saying that he was too mean. It's like, just get the f like, don't get so worked up. Like, if you're really getting so worked up about somebody being an asshole on the internet, you like, what are you doing with your life? Go, as they say, touch some grass. And I'm gonna say, go eat some grass. That's gonna be my saying. Instead of touch grass, eat grass. Because if you're really going to hold yourself up all day, every day, doing absolutely nothing but complaining on the internet, you're probably stupid enough to eat grass. Uh, anyway, you know, yeah, leafy ban, uh, bring him back, please free him. I feel like, you know, the internet isn't being too kind to him. Just stop holding him hostage. Let, let the man speak for God's sake. Anyway, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, uh, comment a random word down below, um, if you made it this far in the video. If you did, thank you very much. I like your support. Hope you all stay safe and happy. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.